Wow, I can't believe it's been a year since I've spoken to my ex. <laughs> hmm, I wonder how they're doing. I know we didn't end things on a positive note. Then again, I really don't want to go into the new year with a heavy heart and a broken spirit. Hmm, I emailed them before and they didn't respond, but... Maybe they just didn't get it. Yeah, that's it. They didn't get it. I think I'm going to try again. 10 years is a long time to be with someone and not at least be friends or cordial in the least. Hmm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. 2020, I'm just going to say my piece and let it go and enter the new year on with the free spirit. This is it. I'm going to do it. I'm just gonna do it. Hmm, there, done, finish. Let's see what happens. Overall, the point of this video, don't go into 2020 with a heavy heart, with anger and pain and all these things on your heart. 2020, you need to release the demons, release it all, get it out of your system because what happens, you're hanging on to these things and the other person um, has moved on. So in order to free up your heart, your mind, and your conscience, you know, say what you have to say, write a letter, burn it, um, text somebody, email somebody, call somebody, say what you have to say, let it go. Even if somebody is has passed away, if someone is dead, I had to do that um, with my father's death. I harbored so much hurt and so much pain in my heart but he was gone so it was like wasted space in my heart that I eventually had to forgive him and let him go in order to free up that space so in this case I had to say everything that I wanted to say even though I did not want to get back with them but you know ten years nine ten years is a long time to be with someone and you know at least not be cordial so i said what i had to say <laughs> my friends ready to snatch me down and say and told me let it go you've said your piece i actually feel much better it's been one full year it's just it's been just about a full year that we have been separated and they're in a much happier place. I'm happy for them. I've chosen to not move forward, but to heal myself and get healing for myself, which I'm still doing. But I said everything that I wanted to say in order for me to finally, finally move on and not take that pain and that hurt with me on things I wanted to say in 2020. I actually feel a lot better. Next week, I may feel another way. But I do feel a lot better and I think the holidays um, made it a little more challenging for me. My first holidays actually in over 30 years that, you know, I chose to just not be with anyone. So it was a little rough. It was a little rough. And it was a little rough after being with someone for 9, 10 years and, you know, our first holiday not together. So for me, it was a little rough. <laughs> so I'm glad I got through it. Um, I'm glad I was able to purge what was on my heart and on my mind i want to challenge you to do the same thing because it doesn't make sense to take all that baggage and all that pain and anger or whatever or that love or whatever that you wanted to let somebody go you wanted to let them know something just just put lay all your cards out on the table 
you know you might get crickets like I did or you might get something more and I'm okay with the crickets because I know I hurt them because I was hurting you see what I'm saying you, I I was hurting so I hurt them by breaking up I, I didn't know it was weird so what I'm saying to you <laughs> you know I'm okay with the crickets because that's my validation. That's what I needed to hear. You know, I reached out twice, you know, just for friends, just for friends or to say hello or whether we want to talk things through, not to get back together, but just for healing. And I got my answer. So I'm okay with that. Now um, I can finally close that chapter of my life. Um, and finally move on that maybe in 10 20 years there'll be a friendship we can rekindle a friendship but right now I guess it's a no um, it was a no for me a year ago it was a it was a no for me so I guess not a things have changed it is a no for them but I don't want anything just you know just cordial love life friendship beauty it was like one of those things, but it was nothing else. But I do have my answer. So what answer are you going to seek for you, for your healing? Don't go into 2020 with a heavy heart. Don't go into 2020 without telling somebody you love them. Um, and, you, and you may not ever get that chance again. Don't go into 2020 with hate on your heart. Don't go into 2020 with that weight that's weighing you down, your spirit, your soul, or whatever. Get it out, Shh. get it out, sis. Get it out for you, get it out for your healing. I did, and right at this moment, I do feel a little better. I do feel a little better, you know, cause it was like my heart was about to explode. And you know, I just had to reach out, but I got the answer. Sometimes the answer is not always what you're looking for, but I got my answer and now I could float into 2020 um, uh, with a lighter spirit. You know what I'm saying? So do the same thing for you because sometimes that will free us. Okay? That'll free you. I freed myself. I got my answer. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's make 2020 a better year, a positive year. We're going into 2020. We're going to be woke and aware and um, just open our minds and hearts to free ourselves of those demons that plague us. Um, pain and all those other things that I mentioned before let them go even if you don't feel comfortable saying it to a person's face or texting a person or email a person or call a person write it write it down then burn it write it down and burn it my friend went to a, a something of um, some type of function where they wrote down all the pain and everything and then they put it in a big, big bowl and they lit the bowl on fire and just burn all their feelings and worries and concerns and hurts and everything burnt so I, I really do like that but I guess for me my outlet is probably the videos and talking to you guys and getting feedback and so on and so forth because you guys have become my family <laughs> so um that's it guys all right until next time later